Hello, it is me, the King, and we got some breaking news to cover. So, uh, as of today, um, some images came out from Transformers about the new, um, the English, of the new leader class figure from Legacy like, Night Wave 2, which is Sandstorm. Now then, he looks awesome in robot mode, and... I am definitely going to pre-order him if he comes soon enough. If not, I may be able to find him in, like, a Walmart if I get lucky enough. Later classes over here in Canada are 80 bucks, at least for right now, before they jump up again. But, yeah, um, he looks pretty clean. Honestly, I thought, like, the top bit right here for his helicopter mode and robot would be a bit longer because if you check out his G1 counterpart, it's kind of long. Now looking back at it, I thought it'd be longer, but it looks about all right. But when you compare it to the toy, it looks a bit more reasonable. The G1 original counterpart. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Sandstorm is pretty awesome. Um, he at least comes with two blasters by this product shot. A big one or a medium one, then a little small one. And we quickly jump over to his box. Um, it shows here he's a thin one with the open window. Which I guess is starting now because as I've been seeing it's just like a full closed box. But yeah. Um, okay. Oh, do you want triple change? Okay, that's a different name for that. I thought it was just going to be called G1 Universe like with Gears. But nope, it's just called G1 Triple Changer Sandstorm. Well, I guess you can tell us from the G1 universe because it says G1 right there. But it shows his two modes. The Doom Buggy more present. Then his helicopter a bit more up in the top corner. Then obviously the robot. And then on the back of the box, it tells you it takes 19 steps to go from robot to Doom Buggy. Because he does transform into a Doom Buggy. That's why I'm saying it. And then I guess you gotta go from Doom Buggy to Helicopter, unless the instructions also show you can do Robot to Helicopter, but if so, it takes 32 steps to go to Helicopter mode. Um, they look pretty good. I mean, I can kind of tell do Doom Buggy, it seems like you just kind of flip on his side, and like, his feet become the light bars, and his backpack part becomes the back end. The helicopter mode um, is basically the opposite because by where his backpack is, um, it looks like his backpack becomes the front of the helicopter and I guess his legs would become the back. But let's take a little bit more close up of his robots modes. So in image one, um, he's holding on to his cage along with his medium slash large blaster. Looks pretty good. Image two. It looks like he's in. He's ready to fire someone with both of his blasters. And it looks like he could peg in the small one to one of his arms. And then, for the third image, um, it shows one of him yeeting his cage. Because why not? If you have the availability, why not chuck your cage at someone? But let's take a look at his vehicle modes. So, Doom Buggy... It looks pretty clean, not gonna lie. And the cage, as you saw, fits on the back as like a roll cage to protect his engine, which is a nice touch of detail, I'm not gonna lie. And then we check out helicopter mode. For this one, while he's on the ground, um, his blades are in motion when the picture was taken to signify it's about to start up. But it kind of reminds me of like Grinder slash Blackout's helicopter design, especially the animated one and the Studio Series versions. Those ones like really remind me what this helicopter mode's based off of. But it also kind of looks like he's like a rescue helicopter as well. It's hard to pinpoint what kind of helicopter he's based off of. But um, um, it shows where he can show his blasters. I assume for the other side where the black one is, it's just on the other arm peg. And to show you how you would soar with the cage, on this image, it just shows you can attach it down to the bottom with a string. So you can kind of use it to put stuff in, like if you got a Saver Fellow Autobot, or, you know, you got a 
pick up some cargo like Energon and bring it back to home base. But yeah, this guy seems like he will be fun to play with. Even though with all my Transformers, I only I play with them for a little bit, then they sit on the table. But yeah, um, he's pretty great. Uh, like I said, he I'm hoping he will still be the same price when he comes around, which is eighty bucks Canadian. And yeah, that's pretty good. I will definitely we want to grab him for sure, along with maybe like. Gears or maybe Core Class Dinobot or Victor Prime because I think all those guys. Will, I know Gears is and Dinobot in Wave Two, but they're saying Dinobot may be canceled, and I'm fifty fifty if Victor Prime is the Voyager for Wave Two or Wave Three. But by guesses, they say Wave Two is supposed to come out in April, so that's about about a little bit more time. But you know. Knowing Hasbro Pulse, the May list is up for pre-order, but Amazon takes a bit to get pre-orders in. But yeah, um, that has been my news topic for today. If you liked this video, um, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and drop a comment down below, and I'll apply to them as fast as I can. Until the next news, bye!